Morning, folks. How are we doing? Back here with the Salah and Chantel show. And it's a couple joined gym in Kuwait and pre-gym food diet. Did you just punch me? Did you just punch me? She's here. The goober's here. And she just thumped me in the side. <coughs> why do you thump me in the side for? <coughs> like, why? She just walked over and gave me a wee punch. <coughs> Don't shout at me as well. She, do you know what the thing is? As you guys might have noticed in the recent ones, she's been quiet during the Amber Lynn videos because she's a ham baby, as we all know. Second, I mentioned Chantel. Here she is. That we should. Where are you even? There you are. <laughs> See, <laughs> she's just plot. She's in the background. She's plotting. She's staring. There's something angry building up inside her. She, she's like, ah, oh, this animal abusing bitch. And that's uh, that's gonna that's gonna be the that's gonna be the. <laughs> It's going to be the show now, I guess. Uh, I haven't really seen anything about it. I haven't really heard too much about it. We're on 1.25 speed. Uh, we're just going to get into it. We're already looking over mid-level Q8. I, I, I hate these panning shots, as we all know. Oh, I know you hate them too. I know you hate them too. You don't need to say. Jesus. Uh, let's just get into it, guys. I, you know, I, I've been I've been working out a lot, as everyone knows. I did my keto thing there. That was a good fun, worst weeks of my life. Uh, and now we're just going to go straight into this. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hello. So happy to see you here and thank you for watching us. We have decided to embark on a health journey together. We have joined gyms. This is like the loudest, like any. I, I said this is like, this has been, not you have been, okay? She's up on her couch now, so we might have some peace and quiet here. We're gonna have peace and quiet? Yeah, she just had a big yawn. I think we're, we're safe here. This is the loudest her her, her uh, couple's vlogs have been. And I hate adjusting the volume because, like, the second I adjust the volume, like, it, it, it always seems to go to shit and it always makes it really annoying for me to do the audio editing. Uh, so, yeah, I, that, we're just, let's go. Let's get to the gym. And we wanted to share a bit of the experience with you. So what you'll see okay. here in this vlog is just some uh, pre-gym meals and things like that, preparation, okay. and also uh, a bit of day one. Mom, the guy in front of you might be drunk. Do you see this guy? Just like, giving us a wee bit of a wobble there, crossing that line there. Guy might be drunk. Just so just you know, I know it's a dry country, but somehow this man has achieved it. At the gym. So I hope you enjoy, and there will be a lot see, more to look, come. Wobble, so wobble. please sit back, enjoy our video, and... Is that a burger? <laughs> Much. Is the gym in? Is because this is that looks like a big. That's too big for a Burger King. Is this the gym? I, imagine having a gym with a Burger King in it. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. Imagine that would just seem so. No wonder Q. It's like the most obese country in the world by statistics. If your your gyms have a Burger King in it, what? Oh, that's so weird. Why would your gym have a Burger King in it? As always, thank you so much for watching okay. us. Uh, okay. okay, we know you're thinking. I thought they were heading towards. The, I thought she was heading towards the drive-through there, and I was like, "Girl, like, because we saw it before." And it, like, I know I mentioned Boogie. Boogie, I talk about him, my main channel. He's another incredibly obese little guy, um, and he's very much like Amber. He's like the male version of Amber. He's very narcissistic. He thinks he's like the nicest, greatest person and the most interesting person who's ever existed. And, and he's like really upset that he's lost relevancy he's, he's just he's just a bad person but he's, he's interesting to watch because he's just a, a constant liar like her manipulator like her he did a gym vlog as well and it was so funny oh God, yeah i forgot we we're talking about foodie because they're, they're all, all the same they're all three of them the same um he was going to uh he was going to the gym and he stopped off at mcdonald's on the way to the gym i, I, was, I was just like Bro, what? I honestly thought that's what she was gonna do there. I thought we were gonna get like a repeat of that. I know we were, I thought we were, I thought I was gonna get a repeat of that. That was a really big yawn. Yeah, what? See, I could see it. You could see her mouth get ready to give me a shout. No, 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 T2. I thought we were gonna get, I thought she was gonna get a, a, a Burger King on the way in. Is that a Pizza Hut as well? Is that a Subway too? Is it? Uh, yeah, it's like everywhere. Health journey and fast food. Well, I have decided to cut out fast food for the time being, so this is going to be- This is the last- This video is the last containing fast food is what I meant. Okay. Where the last you'll see for a while. Here we are at a Burger King. I wanted to- sh Stop shouting at me! <laughs> oh my god, she's charging! <laughs> she just fucking leapt out of the couch and just came at me. What are you doing? You're a goof. I think she heard Burger King, and I think she just got a wee bit excited herself. Imagine you're the first day of your <laughs> fucking first day of your gym vlog, and it's like, well, I'm not gonna have a chance to eat Burger King for a while, so I might as well. This is a hundred percent clickbait. This is definitely trolling. Share this with you because it's a really nice Burger King, and it, it looks like every I really other Burger King. To come here, I was craving it so bad. 
I am in love with fast food, you guys know. Yeah, I know, I've seen your waistline. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, guys, well, I, I had to go to this Burger King because it's such a nice Burger King. Bro, it looks like a Burger King. <laughs> like, I don't does anyone rate, like, like the, the t Burger King tears in their head? Like, I have a KFC tier, but it is like, well, the one over there has given me the shits like three times, so I'm not going to eat there anymore. The one over there, uh, only once, so I'd rather, I'll, I'll roll the dice and I'll go to that KFC instead. That's that's my tier system. I'm not, oh my god, guys, it looks like such a nice Burger King. I just have to have three Whoppers. <laughs> and I know it's not healthy. But really? It's definitely my. What are you shouting for? A, a lot of the time, <laughs> even watching this right now, I'm craving a double chicken royal, <laughs> and I just wanted to show you the insanely cute. Well, you're apparently the fattest country in the world, so I guess that makes sense. Mom, you're the, you're you saved. Oh. Am I am I not wrong here? Like Amberlin videos, nothing. Even even during the shrimp gate, nothing. Second, I mentioned Chantel, and she goes. Oh. See? <laughs> Second I mentioned Chantel, she starts shouting. What are you shouting for? I know you don't like her. I'm sorry. This is this this is what we do, okay? <laughs> Stop dancing at me too. The layout of this Burger King, I actually thought it was just really nice and the, there was a lot of nice comfortable looking seating areas. <laughs> what? And it actually This girl loves seating areas. Half her half her fucking couple of vlogs for seating areas. <laughs> Bitch, try and fit in one of those, please. I will I will fly to Kuwait and personally serve you seventeen double chicken royales if you get yourself in one of them fucking seats. I I, I will I that's pinky promise, potato promise, I don't give a shit. I I will do it, Chantel. Uh, also had separate rooms for families and this actually had a prayer room as well as most establishments do here hi king beezer so handsome hi king beezer so handsome i'm just gonna i'm gonna be straight here the more i see of his face the more weird his face looks to me so i'm i'm sorry chantal i'm gonna have to deny that here but imagine the cope you would need to be like well guys i had to eat here i look i know i'm meant to be losing weight and going to the gym i'm a better person all that shit i know you're like but i have to eat here because look this burger king's like really nice looking and it has like so many seats that it's like <laughs> why would that factor into your diet whatsoever and it was on a beach. And oh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, it's on a beach. I love that she like, acted like, whoa, 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 what was that, guys? Oh, teehee, I'm so sorry, teehee, guys. And it's like, you're doing the Amberlynn, I'm such a quirky girl thing. So the view is just really gorgeous. It's, it's It was also decorated mid. nicely for Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem. It has it was actually also it has a very sign. empty, which I love, of course. <laughs> of course. Like, of course, you only go to empty places. Like, this is probably, like, I, I don't know, 1 a.m. It's just very bright 1 a.m., apparently. <laughs> this is, like, 1 a.m. The, the, the guys are closing, and she walks in, and it's like, seven cheeseburgers, please. And they're like, fucking damn it, okay. And here comes King Beezer with the food. We always get the same thing, usually the... We always get the same thing, usually. That works 100% of the time, 80% of the time. <laughs> uh, curly fries look nice. I do like curly fries. Uh... There, I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm gonna notice there are three burgers here. There are three burgers here. If we're, if, if, if I, you know, I don't think we're counting, but if we're counting, there's three burgers here. There's two people sitting there. Double chicken royal and the curly fries. We don't have the curly fries. Yes, I, I, oh, that's not, okay, those are just uh, mozza sticks. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. But Chantal, I was just gonna say, I get it. You have a wedding ring on, thanks. Option in Canada. The mozzarella sticks are so good with the marinara sauce. The cheese is real mozzarella inside and just had an amazing guys i'm just gonna say okay well mozza in 4k i'm sorry guys you don't get to get to see mozzarella in 4k because i'm on a potato pc here but uh, imagine imagine you are like new to the chantel universe or you're like a new fan you somehow made it through the algorithm the 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 fortress of ministerath fucking algorithm around her content that no one will ever get through but imagine if you get through and it's like oh there's a, there's a, there's a fat Canadian woman, and she has a, a, a younger, thinner, more attractive um, Syrian husband, and they're in Kuwait together, and she's trying to improve her life and go to the gym. I can't wait to experience. And the first, however many minutes of this, is, is her in fucking Burger King. Like you just imagine. I know. I, are you, would you ever watch it through the algorithm? Would you? No, you just ran away. Okay, bye. <laughs> Amazing cheese pull, and it was so delicious. It was an amazing cheese pull. Everything was scalding hot, uh, but I'll take the extreme temperature. Why is he fucking? 
why is he parting the chicken? I Sala, I fucking know. I know what cheese looks like. <laughs> it's like, my, you, you, like this isn't like he's like, oh well, this is a um, uh, bourguignon vieux cheese. Uh, it's a hundred and fifty years old. Uh, or super, super, it's like, bro, it is like a craft single cheese. <laughs> it's like a craft single cheese. <laughs> I, don't, I don't don't need these spread for this. The food because it's made to order and it's. Always fresh. I know I say that word a lot, but I have to emphasize. It's French Burger King. Isn't that just what they do? I know sometimes they might make some of their popular items and they'll sit there. So they serve the really quick and you go and get the really popular item. But it's like, it's made to order. It's like, so is it over here. It doesn't make it any less shit. Fries were crispy and fresh and just so good. He is so awkward. And this ceiling, I always was worried that one of these things was going to fall on my head before I get to finish my burger. Imagine that being like your your worry, like the, the you're thinking death is coming for you, and your main worry is, oh, I hope it doesn't happen before I finish my burger. <laughs> why why are we in in this little shock here again? Um, like imagine being like, I'm so scared about something bad might happen while you know before I get to finish my burger. When you live in like the the fire marshal's worst fucking nightmare. One thing I find filling and satisfying and super healthy and low fat is lentil soup and this- Girl, I don't think you can go straight from Here's the fucking double chicken royale with curly fries and mozzarella sticks that I'm going to eat to get ready to go to the gym. However, one thing that I do find uh, rather nutritious and low fat is lentil soup. It's <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you can't hard cut from one to the other. It does not work. This is very easy. Just basically curry powder, salt, pepper, lemon juice, olive oil, red lentils. Uh, chicken broth or you can use vegetable broth and these are the vegetables that I put in my lentil soup I assume. of course red pepper garlic onion and carrot and yeah. then when everything is cooked that's in some dark ass looking carrot on the outside I'm just I'm just saying like our car is a more voluminous yellow ish orangey yellow ish orange I, I said a wrong color there and I'm just gonna leave that in because why not I'm a, I'm a man of, of honor here I don't hide from my mistakes but I'm, <laughs> I just don't get this. Why, 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 we went from such a hard cut from Burger King to this shit. I'm sorry. How, how, yeah, where's the gym? Okay, well, there's 12 more minutes. We're probably going to get to the gym. I just use my hand blender to blend it all together until it's smooth. This was one of our iftars we had. We ordered a mixed barbecue, which is one of our... Okay. Like, uh, it looks nicer than a lot of the other stuff you eat. I, I, will, I will give you credit for that. But, like... What is this couple join gym in Kuwait and pre-gym food diary? So is the food diary just like, here's a bunch of shit I've eaten recently? Is that, it? it's a bit weird. Favorite things to eat. Again, it's just a mixture of different um, Middle Eastern grilled meats and shawarma, French fries. And we had some juice, bread and laban as well. All of this also comes with a big tub of hummus and mixed pickles and greens. All right, so I cooked and our neighbor brought us- I'm probably not- I'm just gonna say I'm probably not gonna keep showing these. This is, this is just literally her going like, Here's some food out of you guys. Do you like it? It has some beans in it and some rice. And it's like, oh, okay, Chantal, thanks. All right, so another oh junk food- God. Like, that, that other thing, what I said we were gonna skip, it, like, th th there was so much more food there. I can't believe we're just going like, Here's some food. Do you want to see more food? I got- I got a panini. And it's like, okay. okay. See, in my head, because she has not in any way clarified any of this, in my head, this is all one day. This is like her, her pre-gym snack. <laughs> the place we went to was Hardee's. When you eat inside, the food is fresh, but when you order it in, it's not so much. So you get this like huge Ramadan special with a couple of wraps and burgers, fries, cookies, and strips. And it was like super affordable and this is the place i actually got discovered by i love i do love that they have, have like commercialized ramadan which it makes i guess makes sense because like it's commercialized christmas and all over here but it's just, i love that it's just like ramadan special here buy a whole bunch of food <laughs> it's like, okay somebody kuwaiti in public and they recognize me and watch my videos sure. so hey if you're watching shout out to you and thanks for bees in i i i'm sorry farsi i just i don't believe you i don't i don't think like like i said for, fortress minutes trial of her fucking Ooh. algorithm why do you always show up at fortress minutes are you a lord of the rings fan Ooh. okay she is never mind answer my own question there <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't believe some Q80 randomly found her in fucking it through the algorithm. I'm sorry. I do not believe it. I just don't. There you go. But the food was so fresh and delicious. And you guys know I'm a fast food addict, unfortunately. Uh -huh. And this really hit the spot. I love, I love that now she's like fully happy to admit that she's like, ma'am, ma'am. 
I love she's like fully happy to admit now she's like a fast food addict. But when she first went to QA, she's like, oh my god, guys, I haven't eaten fast food in like three months. I just have like um, cheese sometimes, and I've lost like 7,000 pounds. And now we're, we're here, she's like, I'm a fast food addict. Here's the 17th burger I had this day. But yum. Okay. You really let us down with the yum there. That wasn't like, that wasn't like a 10 out of 10 yum. The whole yum. That was like a, uh, about a sex, like, yeah, yum. You know, I was about a sex. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm only gonna show you what I'm about. <laughs> oh my god, she really is doing the Amberlynn. I'm so quirky. Oh. She really is. Like, her couple's channel is, like, really different than, like, her main channel, where the main channel, she's like, I gotta kill everyone. I'll sue you all. You whores. You know, that. And on a couple's channel, she's like, yeah, tee -hee. Something fell over, guys. Tee <laughs> Tee -hee. Have you noticed my wedding ring? Tee -hee, tee -hee. Okay, I'm only gonna show you what I'm about to show you because I know how you're all wondering how I'm gonna survive the summer here in like 50, 60 degrees Celsius weather. So let's find out part of how I'm getting ready. Well, here you go. Number one, we're gonna put the thermostat of the uh, central air down to like 17. And salah. Is this really like? I'm sorry, like people, pe like. People asked that before they realized that you had air conditioning, and then you showed it in your home tour that you had air conditioning. It's like, okay. Picked me up this bad boy here. Very nice. Salah bought this for me, guys. Salah bought us. Okay. I, cool. I, I literally don't care which one of the two bought it. it. It seems really pathetic that you keep trying to make it seem like romantic that he bought you a fucking fan. All right, so. Okay, here we go. Uh... Gym clothing, I think. Twenty six X. That's that's a lot of XLs there. But you know, our our skinny queen is going to the gym. It's going to be a twenty five XL soon enough. I was mean. Uh, okay, sweet. Well, I hope you don't just show it in a pile. I want to see you in it or something like that. But then she's like, oh, I can't do that, guys, because I'm wearing it by uh. But so then why show it? I don't. I don't. If it's just a pile of clothes on the ground, it, it doesn't do anything for me. I want to. I want to see what it actually looks like on. Here are a couple of leggings I picked up. I really had to search around different clothing markets and everything. Finally found a market that has some plus size that's actually going to fit me. Um, like I said before, imagine being in the most obese country in the entire world and having to search hard to find clothes to fit you. Um, um, imagine that. Like if you're in like, if it's like Chantel went to Sweden and it's like, well, everyone there is skinny. And it's like, oh, it's hard for me to find something in my size. It's like, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. But when you're in the most obese country in the world and you're like, I am still struggling to find something in my size. Me, me, that should really be like a wake up call. I actually picked up the 28 previously and they were actually too big. So we're going to try the 26 and uh, yeah, two pairs of leggings, some soft gray and some black ones. You'll see me wearing these at the gym at some point. Just some more gym prep for you know, you know, at you know, some point. Hopefully, at some point during this fucking video, we've got nine minutes to go. Come on. Tomorrow, I'm starting the gym a bit late. We really wanted to take the time to find the best deals in the best gym, and so we were, you know, checking some. I thought, but I thought you guys were super rich and like really well, and like Salad made so much money over Ramadan. Like I was like, oh yeah, we're just taking, you know, just trying to look for the cheapest gym possible. It's like okay, cool. Out. Finally found one that's going to be really nice. Also, I haven't been feeling really great. You guys know oh I've just been god. in my feels. My mental health is. Oh my god! I've been in my feels, guys. My the you know hashtag the mental health. Uh, fuck up. Uh, are we seriously during the gym vlog already making excuses for not going to the gym? Imagine that the first the first like seven minutes of this has been like here's all the food I eat, guys. It's seventeen fucking burgers, and then like it's like, but guys, actually, yeah, I haven't gone to the gym yet. Um, you know, I've just you know I haven't been feeling great. I, yeah, I've been, I've been busy. I was like, oh my Christ, really? What a what a gym vlog this has been so far. Been poor, so I've uh, been a bit delayed on that, but. Tomorrow is the day. Wow, okay. Do you know what might actually fix your mental health? If you uh, go to the gym. There you go. That's, a, that's an advice for like pretty much everyone there. Anyone who can go to the gym, work out, or even just like do general working out. Uh, it, it helps your mental health. Maybe just try that. Here, I've just been drinking some tea in the evenings. It dissolves my collagen powder a lot better. And I've been taking that supplement and also making shisha for my husband, Salah. For my husband, Salah. Okay. <laughs> Cringe. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. We're 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 on to fucking tea making. We're on to tea making now. Go to the fucking gym. I just use a black tea, cardamom black tea. 
Instead of white sugar, I add just a little bit of honey. Salah has a sore tummy, so... Salah? Salah? Can you just... I'm sorry. It's just like, it's like, do you remember when you're like in, I don't know, like 14 or something like that? And, and like the girl was always talking about like the guy she liked and it was always like, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, I like Johnny. <laughs> and it's, it's something like that. It, 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 like I, We're here. We're here. And this woman is like 40. I'm boiling him some potatoes. I'm sorry, like, this is really, like, dumb to, to, to focus on. Take the fucking sticker off that. Like, take take the sticker off that, especially when it gets all gunky looking there. Take the fucking sticker off that. You're about to drink from that. If you drink from this side, holding the cup there, your lips might touch that gunky-ass fucking sticker. What, why is that on the cup? Okay, that's my only criticism, apart from, like, everything. <laughs> apart from everything that we have to watch you make fucking tea in a gym vlog. <laughs> Just take the sticker off. I'm also going to throw in some fresh mint. It's really good for the tummy, especially for... It's really good for the tummy? Why was there a jump cut there before she said tummy? Also, like, stomach. Like, stomach. Like, I'm sorry, you're not small and Danny cute. You're not seven years old. Uh, it's good for his tummy, guy. Tummy? <laughs> tummy? Sala, tummy? It's, it's, it's like, bro, you're like 40. I'm sorry, you're like 40. Like... This is something like I'm sure my mom would have said when I was like seven and I was off sick from school and they like, oh yeah, his tummy's sore. That's the kind of thing my mom would have said about my, me as seven years old. And this is like you with your husband, it's like, Thala's tummy is sore? Lost since it was so upset. And now I'm going to add a tablespoon of collagen peptides into my tea. So because Salah had an upset tummy, I made him those mash- Because Salah had an upset tummy? Because Salah had an upset tummy? Like, bro, you're like 40. Well, I'm sorry, it's just, it's so weird. It's it's just, I'm sorry, I, I, maybe this is weird for me to get hung up on, but you're genuinely talking about your husband like he's a seven-year-old boy who's like living in your house. Potatoes, and he ordered me some healthy food. And he ordered me? I, do you know what, no matter how many times you said, no one is going to believe that you aren't buying anything, okay? You, I, I don't think she's ever admitted to buying a single thing the entire time she's been there. It's like, Salah bought me a fan. Salah bought me this dinner. Oh, Salah bought us this barbecue. Oh, Salah bought me this food. I, no, I, I'm sorry. I just don't believe it. And the fact that you keep saying it to keep hammering it in really means I don't believe you. Most people in a couple will say, yeah, so we, we got some of this and I got this, you know? If you're the one eating that, I would just say, I got that. I wouldn't be like, my girlfriend paid for this. Just so you're aware, my girlfriend paid for this for me. And then I ordered it on her on her uh, Apple app. And it came to the door where I would then consume it once she had paid for it. It's like, okay, can I maybe have some actual human dialogue at some point during this fucking weird story? I am also going to eat it with this fresh yogurt. I love plain yogurt with my rice and chicken. That's can, fantastic. Where's the fucking gym? <laughs> add mint and garlic as well. Very nice touch. It's actually not that high in calories I, as I thought it would be. Why would you think fresh yogurt would be high in calories? Also, where's the fucking gym? And it's very satiating. So here's the meal. Grilled chicken, rice. It was so good. It's like charcoal grilled boneless chicken um, cut up. And it came with this creamy sauce that you're supposed to pour on top, but creamy sauces tend to have a lot of calories. So instead of that, I just opted for the tahini that has like better- Instead of this, I opted for the tahini. Well, you, weirdly you have the creamy sauce as well. If, if you don't show me you pouring just the tahini on it and eating just that, 100% I know you're gonna pour all those sauces on. So don't fucking play with me here. Vegetables in it, which is less calories and healthier as well. And I also got a fatouche salad with some grilled pita chips that come with it. And some balsamic olive oil vinaigrette. And it was actually really nice. And I'm going to pour the tahina sauce all over the chicken and rice. It was actually very satisfying and I didn't feel too full after. Before the oh, you, you lost me there. You didn't show me you eating the whole thing. Where's the gym? I had some peanuts and dates. I actually really like dates 
because I cannot eat chocolates and sweets and processed sugar, especially not very often. So dates what? are a good sub. Why can you not? Hello. Whoa. Yeah, I shouted at you first. What? Why can you not? This is like the pure diabetes thing. Like, I'm sorry. Like, what's stopping you from eating chocolate? I'm like, what? didn't you buy like eight billion chocolate bars? And like, oh yeah, those are uh, those are salads. Yeah, they are. They're salads. Yeah. Substitute when you're desperate for something really sweet. So because it's a women's only gym oh, and most God. women take off their hijab and abayas when they're at the gym, I'm not going to film when there's people around. So I'm very limited in what I can show you for the gym. Also for my. Why own did you like? Oh my Christ. Um, why why is it blurred there above you? Is this like to like, is it, like what, why is it? I'm sorry. Why is it blurred there? Is there just a really tall woman like sticking up behind those lockers? Oh my god! Why is there a post-it note here as well? That's it's all weird. Privacy and protection as well. So I'll do what I can. So I'll do what I can to show me working out. Cut the sala at the gym. Okay. Why does no one else exist in Kuwait? Like genuinely, is, is, is Kuwait literally only the fattest country in the world because the two residents are Salah and Foodie Beauty and she tips the scales quite literally. Why is there no one else in existence? Oh, there's one guy there, Never mind. Oh, there's another guy, oh my God. Upwards of three people exist. Um, why are we walking around? I'm sorry, legitimately, what the fuck are we doing here? Why are we just walking around randomly? Also, a lot of these machines are very close to each other. I, I don't like that. Okay. Why is there, is there a fucking, was that a fucking pool table? Okay, lockers? Yeah, cool, 100%. Uh, why is there, is there, okay. Uh, Washing machine and all, I guess. Okay, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Why the fuck is there a pool table? That's so weird for a locker room. <laughs> like, oh, in a communal area or something like that? Okay, I get it. It's still be weird to have in a gym, but why is there a fucking pool table in a locker room? He 100% picked one just because he's like, I'm number one. 100, 100, 100 fucking percent. This gym, guys, is really amazing. Swimming pool. Jacuzzi. Gym facilities, you literally just showed us that. Imagine your bar for a gym being cool is that it has a swimming pool. Like, and it's also like the shortest swimming pool I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, okay, can we maybe just, okay, here's some showers. <laughs> here's a bathroom. Yep, I, I already called that with showers, thanks. That's a toilet. Fucking epilepsy warning, please. Holy shit. God was just very, very sudden, very flashy. Uh, I'm like, oh, is that a sauna? I like so I like there be saunas in my, in my, um, but to be fair, it might not even be a sauna. It just kind of looks like a sauna because it's a random wood structure. Um, uh, I like saunas in, in my gyms. I do like to go to the sauna after I go to the gym. Yeah, steam rooms are great. Cocks out for the lad, Salah. Go on, get in there. Why is it, why is it fucking partly collapsed there? <laughs> Such a good gym. It genuinely, like, it snapped off. Do you see that? It, that's when they connect there, and it snapped off. <laughs> Did Chantel sit on that one? This is terrible. Oh my god, are any of you guys gonna fucking work out at any point during this? I feel like someone needs to be working out. I'm gonna be fucking lifting weights for the rest of this reaction, okay? <laughs> oh my god. And here there's mosque. Okay. MashaAllah. Okay. For such a big gym, it is dead. Like, I would love if my local gym was ever this quiet. I'm the type of guy who shows up at, like, I don't know, like, half five. I try to get in half five. Because a lot of people are there from, like, six onwards. 
um, to you know to get ready before work. Usually about half six is when it starts to really pick up. I like to get there at like half five. That's that was that's my favorite time because it's like it's quiet enough. And then you're leaving whilst everyone else is showing up. You know, you, you get the showers to yourself usually. You get the change by yourself. You get to use whatever equipment in whatever order you want. Oh, mm, mwah, god damn it, I love it, especially when you're doing like an early start or something like that. I might, I, I'm, I'm tempted to set fire to myself just watching this. I, I, I am. If you, if you guys hear like a crackling noise in the background, I'm sorry. I've just, I've, I've just given up on this fucking vlog, bro. Are we, are we, at any point, is anyone gonna fucking even walk on a treadmill? Hey, there you go. Well, could you look any more awkward? I know he can't look any more awkward. Thumbs up. Hello, guys. My tummy is no longer sore. My mommy sorted it with some potatoes. Do you want some potatoes? Do you want some potatoes? <laughs> Don't shout at me, woman. We're, don't shout at me, woman. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. And then we can go for a dander. Okay? We can go for a dander once I'm done. I know that's what you want. The coach told me that I have to walk for five minutes. Speed four. This is the beginning. Okay. Almost finished. This is so good for the stamina. Bro, you're walking on a tre you're walking on a treadmill for five minutes. Um, I, I don't know what jogging up and down the stairs a few times would actually do considerably more for your stamina than walking on a treadmill for five fucking minutes. Just please, please, can we tell me? And pause. Cool. Uh, please tell me we aren't going to be getting him as like our PT trying to give us like exercising advice because to put it very bluntly and not to not the body shame. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not about that body shame in life. You know, but like uh, he doesn't have like the body of like a, like a fit guy. Like he he looks good compared to Chantel because like G Jesus Christ, the elephant man looked good compared to Chantel. He he just has like a eh, eh, body. He has like the body of pretty much what he seems to be like a, like a teenager who you like doesn't do anything but play like call of duty that's he, he has that kind of body shape I, I wouldn't be like oh god look at Sally. he's so fit i bet he could teach me the proper squat technique we finish the five minutes then i have to use the bicycle for five minutes as well christ almighty cool. you really aren't pushing yourself at all are you there Sala? This is a really awkward angle to see someone on a bicycle out because it just makes you look weird. Hello there. Good girl. Don't chew on my fingers. Guys, now I finished warming up. I'm going for the serious workout. Let's go. Oh, thank God. Let's go. Okay, I want. Here is my full outfit of the gym. I, Salah, if I'm being entirely honest, I do not care what your full outfit of the gym is. I, I just don't. She doesn't care. The audience doesn't care. I'm speaking for the people here. No one gives a fuck, Salah. We want to see what Foodie Beauty looks like because she looks it. I know. I know. Her, I mentioned her name, and I'm sorry, Goober. Okay, I am sorry. <laughs> but like, bro, like, there's a minute left. Let's just do some fucking squats or something. No, just pose. Pose for a little. Ah! It's like, it's like a 15-year-old Russian's pose. <laughs> the fucking ti tiny little arm with no definition up. Like, yeah, look at me. I'm Rocky. Oh, my God. That's so silly looking. Oh, bro. I'm embarrassed for you. Night time for my serious workout. By the way, this is what I'm wearing. Uh, and here's me posing and trying to give a smoldering look at the camera. Fantastic. I know. It's terrible. Are we, did we, did we, we got to see him sit down on a machine, and <laughs> that was it. Oh, God. What is this? Oh, my God. The Apple obviously lights back. <laughs> Bro, he, he barely looked like he was sweating or anything like that. What is this meant to be? What is this meant to be? Like, I'm sorry. Where, where is Chantel? Where is Chantel? I'm sorry. I do not believe that in Kuwait, in the gyms, that th th there is like a, a gym where like all that equipment there is, and it's like three guys in it. And Salah is basically by himself the entire time until he walks around and walks up to the people. 
But Sal- Chantel's like, oh, guys, I can't film because there are other women in here and they all have their hijabs off. Uh, sorry. Based on my general experience of Q8, you're the only woman who exists, so stop it. I... I'm sorry. I, I, I just... I, I can't both believe it or care. I, what the fuck is this? So guys, I'm so exhausted after the first day of gym. And I wonder if my beautiful wife is happy now in the gym for the first day. Enjoy it, honey. My beautiful wife. It's like... Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I just, I can't take him seriously. I just can't take him seriously because that's like the only term he knows. Uh, the, uh, I'm like, we didn't see you work out. You walked on a treadmill for five minutes and got on a bike for five minutes, and then I said, now I'm gonna do my hardcore workout, and then the video just cut to you washing your face. See you guys in the next part of gym vlogging. Goodbye. That was terrible. That was terrible. Gym hall and more gym vlogging. I, I I don't I hope it's not about Salah because I don't give a shit. Uh, yoga mat, please God, I want to see her do yoga. Holy absolute fuck! She's the first person to live up to the dog downward facing dog as a fucking name. <laughs> oh Christ! Okay, uh, that was fucking awful. Uh, is there any more pictures here? What the fuck is that? Okay. Oh. She's try okay, so she's try she's trying to fight um with um Foodie Beauty by showing an update of her other cat. Um I don't remember what her other cat looked like. I, so I, I have no idea. Um uh, but I remember it had to be shaved. But uh okay. Uh th- th- this is her trying to win points against FFG, I guess, by being look, I'm not a cat abuser. My cat just looks so much happier with someone else. Uh Christ. Okay, I was I, I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun, guys. I really, really did enjoy that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm probably just going to go straight in and do the other one now as well, actually, because I see this is the second one. Because I've been very busy recently, so obviously I haven't had time. Um, but yeah, I might just jump into the other one. Morning, folks. Back here again with Couples Health Journey Vlog 2 on the Sala and Chantel channel. I loved the last one so much that I am going pretty much straight into this other one. There's been a little bit of a break, uh, but I'm going straight into it because I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. I need to see what happens. Uh, I'm so glad that we're starting this other fucking vlog video off <laughs> with an introduction of her food. <laughs> because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just have like a normal vlog video where you show yourself working out? Uh, God, I just can't. I can't wait. Hopefully we get to see Chantel in the, the vlog at some point during this instead of Salah awkwardly walking around the gym and and being like, I like working out, guys. And then not showing us I'm working out. <laughs> oh, God, I just can't wait. Let's go. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another Hello. food and gym vlog. Yes, food and gym vlog. I should have clarified that in the first vlog. We will be- <laughs> I should have clarified that in the first vlog. Because uh, everyone uh, tore me apart for it. Uh, because I look so dumb. <laughs> food and gym vlog <laughs> those things don't work this is like amberlin shrimp gate where she was just like oh my god guys i don't get why people keep coming for me like they, look at all these professional mukbang channels they don't get insulted for doing mukbangs it's like bro you're a weight loss channel doing mukbangs that's why people are coming for you <laughs> how do you not get this and she's like i'm losing weight guys also here's all the food i eat be showing you also what we are going to be eating along this journey this Fantastic. health journey we're in together this is one of our favorite restaurants uh it's this health journey that we're on together. This is one of our favorite restaurants. I'm, I'm sorry to spoil it for you, but you're clearly in your living room. <laughs> like, I, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the fuck you've been smoking like, but you are still in your living room, Chantal. You've not gone to a restaurant. It's Afghani style rice with carrots, raisins, and it's spiced nicely with some sheep meat and some grilled chicken. I have the grilled chicken, and it comes with um, potato tomato soup and some greens and some bread. But I don't eat the bread. I just eat a portion of the rice. Sure you don't. Oh uh, yeah, okay, 100%. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And it's very affordable, and it's very delicious for if not. It's so weird that she always brings out the price, and she's always like, it's really cheap, guys. It's cheap. Just so you know, it's cheap. Because like she's like struggling for money, I guess. I, it just It's just so weird. It's not something that I would mention unless I'm like advertising the restaurant like if like i watch a bunch of people do like 
uh, Korean tours and Japanese walking tours and stuff like that. And they'll go to, they'll stop off and they'll get lunches at places. And they'll be like, I'm at uh, Boku Ikuro or something like that. And it's a, it's a really nice ramen restaurant. It's a really nice gyudon restaurant. Uh, and it's really nice. The, the a, a standard gyudon bowl will generally cost you about 500 yen. That's roughly, you know, five American dollars. So they'll, they'll, they'll say something like that because they're like talking about the restaurant and like advertising the restaurant for you more or less and telling you nice places you could eat. She says, I got food from a restaurant I like. It's cheap. It's like, okay. Can you maybe explain to us what the restaurant is or anything like that or how we could possibly eat there and enjoy it? No? Okay, sweet, 100%. After dinner, we have tea and I mix in some fresh mint and collagen into mine. I know you do because you showed us this before. Do you put fucking honey in as well? Spoiler alert, I think you might. <laughs> really? And Silla has his with honey. All right, guys. So as I said, I found some t-shirts in my... Happy mind, grow positive thoughts. The, the 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 spacing between letters bothers me. Uh, mind, I thought I've, originally when I, I glanced at this quickly, I thought it said happy grind because the, the fucking M is like genuinely deformed. Uh, okay. My size, it says XXL, but it's actually size twenty eight. And I wanted plain t-shirts, but all they had were these like sayings on them. But it goes well with. Is she trying to pretend it's like, I'm actually not 2XL? Is she trying to pretend it's like, oh, guys, it might just say it's 2XL, but it's not actually. It's my new journey, so happy mind, grow positive thoughts, and believe in positive thoughts. God, you are so cringe. Holy shit, this is the kind of sticker I'd expect on like a 14-year-old like a girl's fucking diary or something like that. Positive thoughts, guys. Positive mentals. Guys, I'm so positive now. I'm like a different person. No negative thoughts here. Hashtag positive thoughts only. Hashtag live off love. And Palm Springs. Palm Springs. So. Positive thoughts, guys. Positive mind grows positive thoughts. Hashtag believe in positive, positive thoughts. Palm, Palm Springs. Palm Springs. You know, Palm Springs. Just, you know. Death to the West, but uh, Palm Springs. I have another one in the wash. It says something similar. And it's white. Yalla, let's go work out with some positive thoughts. Okay, that's... so. I can hear your jaw moving and it's unsettling. I am going to bring some things to the gym here. I go to the gym in my abaya, in my hijab, and I bring my workout clothes in here okay. and some personal items, brightening vitamin C wipes. These have retinol. <laughs> These are my bathroom shoes. Deodorant, spray, water good to go do you bring your deep breathing as well i'm sure everyone in the gym appreciates the deep breathing all right guys so this is what i'm <laughs> Stop, trying to film oh my god guys they're so in love we're so quirky that didn't seem rehearsed at all god that was fucking so cringe god i like no matter how many times you try i will never believe it especially when you do such fucking scripted shit like that also by the way guys i just noticed when i looked down this is eight minutes and four seconds long she got those extra four seconds so she got a mid roll in well okay we're being honest probably a couple mid rolls in all right guys so this is what i'm going <laughs> so that's making me laugh Ah, uh, you're st st fucking quirky. I know she's she's being quirky. She is just being quirky. I know you love the quirk. I love the quirk as well. She loves the quirk. She really loves the quirk. She thinks it's believable as well. Whoa. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna wear to the gym. I go in my abaya. Hey, and just so he's gonna do it one more time. Yeah, and hijab, and then I change into my gym clothes normally. No. But if I am filming, I okay, will wear no. the hijab. Okay, no, we're just done. Yellow, let's go. We got the windows tinted. Why? Uh, uh, please tell me she actually got the, the windows tinted in the car because she is so <laughs> disgusted by herself that she is being... Well, sorry. Salah is so disgusted in her that he, he doesn't want to be seen in public with her. If we're, like, if we're being honest with ourselves with the reasoning of it, really, you went and got the fucking windows tinted? That is... That's embarrassing. For the summer. So it's dark in here. Yeah, sure. We needed some. Sure. Okay. That's, that's definitely it. If I film, I must wear hijab though. Okay. Cool. Equipment for the gym. So we decided to come to a market to purchase the items that we needed. Wait, what? What? Oh, I, 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 I'm just, 
I'm I'm so genuinely confused. Like, do you join a gym, but you're buying equipment to take home with you. Like, just use the gym stuff. From from what I've heard, the rumblings in the in in the jungle. Uh, people obviously mocked her, laughed at her, and everything. Like that. No one believed she's actually working out. Obviously, I don't believe she was actually working out at all. We saw literally nothing of her working out. We, she had a picture taken in what seemed to be a locker room. Like, so it doesn't mean you worked out. Like, it, it just doesn't mean you worked out. I have literally seen people fucking walk in, take a selfie of themselves in the locker room, and walk out of the gym again. You know, probably with a hashtag grind set going on, Sigma meal grind going on, some bullshit like that, probably on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. And then they just fucking walk out of the gym again. Like, like, come on. I'm assuming that's what she did. But is she doing this? Because obviously she didn't join a gym and she doesn't really want to work out. She probably took that during like the induction day or something like that, the, the video of her in there. Uh, and now yeah, people are like, okay, well, we don't believe you. So she's like buying equipment so she can actually do some stuff at home to try and like own the haters. That's, that's my immediate reading of it. Okay. Okay. Please tell me she just isn't going and just getting like a fucking yoga mat. <laughs> Please tell me she just isn't getting like a yoga mat. I'm gonna get the navy blue to exercise on. I want my own. I think we can all agree that I needed new Skechers, so I decided. Did we? I don't. I have my. I, I, you're, you're you're so large. Even when you film downwards, I generally don't see your feet. So actually, I wouldn't have agreed with that. But okay. Uh, surely that's the thing you would have got before you went to the gym, not after you've gone to the gym. I need to pick up these shiny new kicks. What do you think? They're fine. And Salah got these gloves for working out at the gym for himself. Okay. I got an Are we gonna actually see him like lift any weights this time instead of like walking on a treadmill for five minutes? <laughs> like, if, yeah, if he got gloves and all for it, I'm, I'm sure we're gonna see him lift massive weights. Because I'm sorry if you're if you if you're lifting like like a small amount of weight, you really don't need gloves. You don't put enough friction on your hands. A water bottle to keep my water cold throughout the whole workout. Sure, throughout the whole workout, I'm just... Chantel. Okay, let's all let's all sit down and have a, a good intervention here. How the fuck long do you think you're actually gonna be working out for? Like, this isn't a, oh, guys, well, I'm there for four hours, and by the time I get done, the water's room temperature, ah, uh, you're going to be going for, like, 20 minutes maximum at the start. 10 minutes, maybe. It's one of those things that, like, people always overestimate about themselves, and when they're, especially when they're lying about going to the gym. Because, like, a lot of people go to the gym... And, like, average people, how long we spend in the gym? Maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. Maybe a lot of people do, like, 30 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes of weights. Some people might do 40 minutes of cardio, 10 minutes of weights, 10 minutes of fucking stretching. I don't know. Something like that. But Chantel seems to have this idea because she said, I think before, like, somewhere, that it's like Salah drops her off at the gym, at the female gym, and he goes to the male gym, and he comes back two hours later. And it's like... Chantel, if that is true, how long were you just sitting outside for? Because there's no fucking way you spent two hours in the gym. It's the same thing Boogie claimed. Boogie claimed he was going and he was working out. And he claimed he was, like, in the, the in the pool and in the gym for, like, an hour and a half to two hours, like, the second time he went. And it's like, no, you weren't. Just, no, no you weren't, okay? You, you're, you like, 500 pounds you didn't, you know, I'm sorry, it's as simple as that, people really overestimate themselves, because they hear people talk all the time about going to the gym, it's like, oh, well, that, that you know, jo John, he's really athletic, he says he goes to the gym for two hours every day, well, he probably just works out harder than I do, but I, I can go to the gym for two hours as well, it's like, well, no, you will just get fast, like, like tired a lot faster, it doesn't matter if you work out even close to as hard as him, you'll be way too tired, you will not last two hours, even if you do it at the slowest pace imaginable you will not last two hours i also got a smaller sweat towel as yes. well as a larger towel for the shower at the gym hi guys so i was able to capture okay thank god we're at, we're at the gym this looks like it's really going to exist a little bit more of the gym here it depends on which classes on which days how many people are in the gym again i don't want to show anyone else on camera as they are working out so what are you doing what are you actually doing? Like, firstly, that footpad is fucking massive. <laughs> Just quickly saying that, the footpad is fucking massive. There is like, barely any range of, of movement here. There is, like, which, uh, which, honestly, like, it might be her fault. Because, like, if she's super short, she probably should have moved the seat forwards. She's probably working a normal one. Because watch this range of motion. 
I pretty much tried to blur out everything I could, and I will continue. So how, how far she's changed? Ever ten centimeters, maybe? Like th there's that she's not. That you should be really pulling your knees in. Your knees should be coming in pretty tight when you're when you're uh, doing the leg press like that. She's also only doing five five kilograms, which is nothing. I'm sorry to put it incredibly fucking bluntly. She doesn't need to do the leg press. There you go. That that's it. Do you know why she doesn't need to do the leg press? Because she carries her own weight around. Simple as that. Simple as that. The joke about fat people is that they generally have pretty good calves. Like, if they, if they don't have lymphedema or lipidema or anything like that. They generally have pretty good calves. Do you know why they have pretty good calves? Be because they're carrying their body weight around. It's like if it, you, like a random person in the audience, maybe you're 200 pounds. Okay, well, to be Chantel's size, you will have to have another you on your back and be carrying like a 50 pound weight walking around. That That's what you would need to do to be like even getting close to working out as much as Chantel does. So if you did that, if you walked around your entire life with a clone of yourself and carrying a 50 pound weight, your legs would get pretty toned. She does not need to be doing leg exercises. There is, She needs to be doing cardio, like upper body exercises, something along those lines. Legs, her legs are generally fine. Like, especially pushing a five kilogram weight. For someone with her, her legs, she, that should be like so easy. So easy because her legs are used to carrying 450 pounds. So if she's pushing five kilograms, which is like what 13 pounds, 12, 13 pounds, like, uh, yeah, I, yeah, what's that gonna what do? To try and find some areas of the gym where I can film more for you guys, but uh, I'll just if you're gonna blur out everything around you, you should be able to just like film everywhere pretty easily. You know, it's going very well. We have been going every night. No, you we haven't. We maybe missed like a day or two since we started. No, you haven't. <laughs> How long have you apparently been doing this for? This is only the second vlog. And now it's like, oh, we, yeah, we go every day. Yeah, we go, we go, we go, we go every single day. You don't. I'm sorry. You don't, Chantel. If you work out to any degree at your size, maybe at best you'd be doing every other day. You need a rest day between. I'm sorry, you just, you don't go every day. I know you, you you hear your fit friends saying that they go to the gym every morning before work. You aren't that. The The amount of pain you'd probably be in if you did any amount of actual working out the first time you've gone to the gym in however many fucking decades, you'd not be like, oh yeah, next day I'm going to go. Your muscles would be fucking screaming at you. So just don't. It's, it's the same thing that I see so many people fall into when they are this size and they're trying to pretend that they're on a health and fitness journey is they always lie and exaggerate. Do you know do you know who that you should listen to and believe that they're on a health and fitness journey? The person who is like 500 pounds, 500 pounds, fine, whatever, 500 pounds. And they're like, here's what I'm eating today. Yeah, it's um, 200, it's 2000 calories. Uh, I, you know, I was hoping for 1,500 calories. However, I wasn't able to do it, unfortunately, you guys. But it's 2,000 calories. It's, st it's still below my base metabolic rate. Uh, I, 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 but I, I was able to get um, 5,000 steps. I also did uh, 20, you know, barbell curls. Something like that. Something small and, like, obtainable. And you're like, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Do you know what? Makes sense. And he's like, but then he comes back a week later. And he's like, I got uh, 8,000 steps today. And I was able to do 50 barbell curl, curl, uh, curls. And I also did three push-ups. It's like, good, good work, John. Do you know what? I'm, yeah, we actually, but when these people fucking start, like, their health and fitness thing, I was like, guys, just so you know, today I only ate 600 calories and I spent seven hours at the gym. Uh, and I'm going back uh, uh, tomorrow and I'm going to do the same thing. It's like, no, you aren't. No, you aren't. Stop it. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to indulge your lies. I'm not going to like joke around with your lies. You're just lying. But that is about it. I am becoming uh, not addicted, but. Also, that's one thing you should listen. You should always know uh, I, when, when that someone's lying to you is that they immediately say that they're addicted to going to the gym. If they are that size, they're not. Okay. There you go. The end. Like going to that size, it, it would be hell. It would be hell. It wouldn't actually be very enjoyable, but over time, you'd start to enjoy it more. But you wouldn't be like, guys, I'm addicted to going to the gym at 500 pounds. I can, I can barely step up onto a step plate. It's like, just don't. Just don't. It's, I, I've literally heard Anne Berlin claim that. I've heard Boogie claim that. I've heard so many of these large little cars claim that. Just the second they say that to me, I'm like, brain switch off. Okay, I'm not engaging anymore. This is silly. I'm really enjoying going and I look forward to going every night. I feel really good after. Sorry guys, it is not quite difficult filming at my gym, but I will keep trying. 
it is not quite difficult. English major. And I feel like, you know, like I've accomplished something. So I'm just showing you what I could. And here we go. I'm just doing some step ups. Uh, I do do all of the machines, like I said, in about 20 minutes of cardio or so on the treadmill. Okay, but yeah, but 20 minutes of cardio, like doing what on the treadmill? Walking? I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're going to be walking. You might as well be honest and just say you're walking. So I hope you enjoyed this. Nice work. Is that it? Is, is that all we got? Like 30 seconds of like weak leg presses and then like, I don't know, I'll be generous to say 10 step ups. Is that it? That's what, that's what we got for your two hours in the gym? Okay, cool. I, I believe you even more now. Out. This is what I wore to the gym. I'm all ready to go after getting washed up. So while waiting for Salah to come and get me, he wasn't quite finished at the gym, I decided to go to a very nearby cafe and have a <laughs> Are we really doing this? Are we really just going straight to, I don't know, eat food? It's like, okay. Coffee and eat my protein bar that I had with me. It was pretty good. This brand is pretty good. It's not as gross and protein tasty as most protein bars. I'm usually and also, also to be really blunt as well, and it's, it's one thing that I, I see a lot of unfit people, not even like, I'm not even going to say fat people this time, uh, a lot of unfit people like fall into is they'll be like, I need protein bars because I just worked out, so I need a protein bar. I need protein bars, guys. I'm on a diet. I need protein bars. It's like, you, 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 you don't. You don't need a protein bar, especially if you don't enjoy them. You don't need a protein bar. Like, I'm sorry. Like, with with her, like, she she's fine. She is absolutely fine with the amount she eats. And how little she exercises, she's absolutely fine. She does not need protein. Okay, she's she is not b burning nearly enough calories and also building nearly enough muscles to require, like, large amounts of protein. Like, she's fine. Oh, my God. She has rock music playing. This is so fucking cringe. Like I said, it's, it's like the pool table. Like... The, the big communal sitting area, like that, which is just like, bro, can you can you cut down on the cringe for me a little bit? I, 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 does she not realize no one cares about Salah, like at all? Like, who, honestly, who, who gives a shit? That is so cringe. He has like a power walk in as well to the rock music. That is so lame. And my full outfit of the gym. It's like, the, it's the same outfit you wore yesterday. Like, exactly the same. But bro, do you not wash your clothes? Oh my god. There's nothing there. There is nothing there. There is no definition in the forearm. There's nothing at all in the upper arm. Bro, that is just... Oh. The one thing I'm stunned at is he's not wearing a muscle tee. The one thing I'm genuinely stunned at is he is not wearing a muscle tee. He seems the type of guy who'd be wearing a muscle tee. <laughs> Look, I know he's probably just warming up, but like, he's trying to be all cool. He has like rock music playing and all, and he's lifting this. This is like a child's one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's healthy to increase weight gradually in order to avoid muscle injury. Has he never lifted weights before? Ever in his entire life? Has he ever lifted a cardboard box before? Because it might be that heavy. Oh my god. I would, I would even try. I would even embarrass myself by, by starting off with that. I wouldn't. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh god, he's trying to be cool and all. It's so embarrassing, bro. Oh my god, does he not realize how lame he is? Does he not? Oh my god, that's so lame. Oh my Christ, we are so lame. Sometimes after the holy actual fuck, are we serious? Sometimes after the gym, apart from eating a uh, protein bar and having a latte, I then go to Subway as well. Okay. Okay, sorry. I just sunk in my chair there. I was just like, I'm <gasps> done. I know, this is some dumb. Um, we have Subway. We share a 12 inch on whole wheat. Usually a chicken. That's the only time you guys have ever shared a 12 inch. <laughs> but hey, there you go. Uh, quote, quote is math for the day. <laughs> Why are you blurring this out? <laughs> like, I just, I just don't know anymore. I think, I think, I think this is fucking broken me. <laughs> I think this has broken me. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid.
And some water. All right, and here it is, my sub. It's like chicken breast with loaded with every vegetable they had. It's like chicken breast. I, I think it is chicken breast. <laughs> oh god. Uh, it looks. It looks very moist. <laughs> it looks very moist. Pretty much on whole wheat, and a handful of grape tomatoes, and the plain yogurt, which I find has been really. What is with that chunky ass weird tomato there? That's fucking weird. Um, my my biggest thing is with how little exercising she is likely doing, because like from what we saw, she's like doing nothing that will actually really do any serious work for her. the step ups. Honestly, are such a better leg workout for her her size than that leg press, a hundred percent. Literally, they don't even compare how much more effective the the, the step ups are for for muscular building for her legs and also just training for her cardio than the leg press. But like this, this, this probably also that that there's a is that a bag or serviettes? I thought that's a bag. It looks like a bag to me. Uh, so I just assume she got a cookie as well. Um, like this is probably more calories than she burnt. Uh, and yeah, it's probably more calories than she burnt. Uh, it's just, it's just like so unnecessary. I'm sorry. You, you worked out. You had a protein bar apparently to restock your energy supplies. It, it, not necessary for her, like I said, but okay. But then going and getting this as well is so unnecessary. Like it's so unnecessary. Like it, you're just undoing what you just did for how little effort you put into that gym. You just undid it there. Helping with my digestion. Hi guys! All right, that is the end of. Oh my god! Thank God we got some more panning shots. This is the end of the video. We have a minute left. She must. This must be panning shots and rambling, or just an end card for the last fucking minute. This video, we hope you enjoyed, and we no, thank you so much so for bad. watching us and for all the positive support. So enjoy some of this driving through Kuwait during the day, and we'll see you in the next video. Why? Bye. Oh my god! She she actually is able to film so little gym content so little gym content that she has to give us an, a minute long driving sequence at the end to, to, to just try and reach a mid roll ad that is pathetic uh, I, like dude she says she goes to the gym for two hours and she filmed what 30 seconds of content 30 seconds for content in two hours cool uh yeah that was uh it probably wasn't as fun as the first one uh but it was it was still fun i did have a lot of fun i honestly made like seven minutes drag out into 25 minutes so i am sorry for you guys uh but i did enjoy it i hope you guys enjoyed it too just hear me do my wee ramble on it uh but i want to thank my patrons as mike healy blade dm just saying i'll see you thanks so much for donating and subscribing everything like that guys i do hope you enjoyed the video uh take care of yourselves now Bye bye